saw then on that time lapse video I finished painting the dome and I'm really happy with the colors and I see the panels here I've got that nice deep metallic blue that I was looking for I don't know if you can tell in the videos but it's got a slight purplish tone to it like uh, the proper R2 blue should have because uh, the, the Dicom blue has a purple undercoat. Um, I've got one of them hollow lenses in, but the other one's there. Um, and yeah, I just stuck the eye on just so that it's, well, it's looking a lot more like R2, and that's what I'm really happy about. Still got to spray this ring here blue, of course. And I've got to still drill that large hole. The bit that I had lost its teeth basically on the last one. It was just it took about a half an hour for it to actually push through the metal. So I think I might have to invest in one of the more quality but yet expensive um, hole cutting bits. Um, had a little trouble with the eye. Um, if you watched in my previous videos, this is made of balsa wood and I'd originally sprayed it with a colour called Brave Blue. And you can see here, this one here, British Paints, um, there it is, Brave Blue. And it wasn't bad, but of course it wasn't metallic. And so I thought I'd let it dry for enough time it had been drying for four days so I started sanding it down unfortunately some wet paint tore up and you can see a bit of it cracking right there and that's where it tore up there and it tore up there so I'm just giving this a real long time to dry I've given it another undercoat and I'll sand that back and if I've still got some rough spots there I'm gonna have to put some wood putty in there and sand it back afterwards puts everything back a little bit but um, needs to be done so yeah all right and as you can see the pie panels came up lovely um, I've got this particular lampshade that I've got it's got a little divot it sits right there I don't know if you can make that out maybe yeah there there it is on the angle um, and I found the perfect uh, silver washer and a dome he uh, headed um, bolt to sit in there. So of course the dome headed bolt will be uh, painted blue as well. And the washer itself will just remain aluminium looking steel. And yeah, I've also got to uh, drill these two things out. Now I think they're 16 mil each. And I have gotten a couple of buttons see if I can find where I put them here they are so these buttons so the plan is to have these buttons will turn lights on and if I you know go down the path of um, I don't know, having sounds as well this could turn on a sound generator or an mp3 player or something inside it um, although the option is also there to have some sort of a bluetooth speaker in it and just run it by my phone but um, yeah these came from and it said Darwin on eBay um, and it even had it as its location Darwin but um, it came international post via China and the correspondence emails yeah the translation wasn't perfect either so yeah, it's definitely come from overseas but yeah they've got a, a blue 
um, LED ring there. You can see that ring that goes around. That lights up blue. So I'm looking forward to put those in. Anyways, that's where I'm at at the moment. Thank <laughs> you.